Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a full body Pilates workout for you that can be done daily whenever you want to get a little bit of movement into your day. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and grab a mat and let's get started. So we're going to start seated, cross-legged, sitting tall on your sit bones. Inhale, bring your right arm up overhead, stretch over to your left side. Exhale, scoop both arm forwards. Roll over to the right side and then reach your left arm up. Coming back up, let's switch directions now. Inhale, left arm up and over. Exhale, rolling forwards over to the left side, stretching through your right side. Come back up, right arm over, rolling forwards over to the right. Coming up, left arm up. Roll forwards, stretch up. Let's just do one more on each side here, really warming up the spine. And then sitting up tall again. Go ahead and uncross your legs and make your way onto hands and knees. Find your neutral here, nice long line from your tailbone to the crown of your head. Inhale to prepare, then exhale as you slide the right hand and the left foot back, still keeping contact with the floor, arm and leg straight. Inhale back in. Exhale, slide out. Inhale back in. Exhale, slide. Inhale in. Exhale, slide. Inhale back in, just a few more here. Keeping your spine stable throughout, keeping the back of the neck long. Last one, then hold the arm and leg extended. Take a breath in. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Still keeping your spine neutral, so try not to overarch the back. You just want to lift so that the arm and leg are in line with your body. Last one here. Lower the arm and leg, slide them back in, and let's switch sides. Push into your right hand and left knee. Slide the left hand and the right foot out, still keeping contact with the floor, and inhale back in. Exhale, extend, inhale in. Again, keeping your spine stable, neck long. Try not to sag through the shoulder blades. Just a few more here. Really feeling that length through your fingertips and through your toes. Then hold the arm and leg extended, take a breath in, and exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift again, keeping that neutral. Working through your posterior sling here. Last one. And lower down, slide back in. Gently rock your body here and then place your hands forwards about one hand distance. From here, stack your shoulders back over your wrists to come into a modified plank position. Keeping your knees hip width, take a deep breath in. Tuck your toes under, lower the chest down, exhale, push back up, and lift the knees into your full plank. Inhale, lower the knees down, bend your elbows, keeping them tucked in by your side. Exhale, push, lift the knees. Inhale, lower the knees, lower the chest. Exhale, lift the chest, then lift the knees. So coming into a modified plank and then coming down into your push up, and then your plank. Still, again, keeping the head lifted. Make sure you're not dropping through the neck there. As you push the knees up to straighten the legs into plank, think of driving the heels backwards to create length 
through the back of the legs. Let's do one more. Then hold your full plank. And then lower the knees down. Sit your hips back into a child's pose. You can rotate your palms up here to get a bit more opening through the shoulders. And then from here, roll up to a kneeling position. Lift your hips off your heels so that you're in high kneeling. Thighs parallel. Reach your arms in front of you. Thumbs facing the sky. Take a breath in. Then exhale, hinge back from your knees. Keep your tailbone tucked under. And then sitting nice and tall back into high kneeling. Exhale, hinge back. Inhale, reach forwards. Exhale, hinge back. Make sure you keep a nice long line from your shoulders to your knees. You don't want the hips to drop back too far. Let's do one more here and hold your thigh stretch position. Inhale, hold, then exhale, reach your arms up. Inhale, lower the arms back down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower. Your thighs should be burning now. Just one more. And then coming all the way down, sit your hips on your heels and then swing the legs around. Go ahead and turn the other way. Legs out in front of you. Tuck the tailbone under and roll all the way back down onto your back. From here, go ahead and bend the knees, hip width still, hands by your side. Palms can be up or down. Curl your hips up, so flatten your back into the bed, then roll up one vertebra at a time until your hips are between your knees and shoulders. Inhale as you curl back down, dropping through your rib cage, and then rippling that movement down to your tailbone. Exhale, tucking under, roll up and inhale, roll down. Exhale, rolling up. Inhale, curling down. So you might notice that reciprocal movement of your head rocking forwards and back, and that's normal here. Just do one more here, curling the hips up and then hold once you get to the top, keeping the hips level. Go ahead and rotate your right knee out to the side without moving the left, and then inhale back in. Same leg, exhale, rotate right knee out. Inhale back in. Exhale, rotate. Inhale in. So just working on a little bit of hip mobility with the activation here. Keep your pubic bone just gently hugging in towards your belly button just slightly. Last twist. And then switching side again, keeping the hips level, keep your shoulders relaxed. Exhale as you rotate the left knee out to the side. Inhale back in. Exhale, rotate out. Inhale back in. Again, keeping the right knee really still this time. Keeping your neck relaxed. Just a couple more. And then coming back to center, lower the hips all the way down. And then go ahead and find your neutral here and engage your abdominals, gently hugging the hip bones closer to each other, just in front of your body here. Bring your hands behind your head. Take a breath in, then exhale as you lift your chest and lift the right knee to tabletop. Inhale, lower the chest, extend the right leg. Exhale, bend the knee back in as you lift the chest. Inhale, lower the chest, lower the leg. Exhale, right leg lifts, chest lifts. Inhale, lower the chest, extend the leg. Exhale, lift the chest back towards that leg in tabletop. And inhale, lower down. Keep moving here, making sure to keep your neutral spine. So a bit of space under your back always. Just do one more on this side here. And then switching sides. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift the chest, lift the left leg. Inhale, extend the left leg, lower the chest. And exhale, lift back up, left leg to tabletop. Inhale, lower the left leg. Again, lifting up. Extend. Bend. Lower. Just three more here. 
Really use that exhale to engage your abdominals a little bit more as you do your chest lift. Think about bringing the ribs towards the pelvis. Last one. And then hold the left leg to tabletop, hold your chest lifted. Then lower your left foot to the floor just to tap the floor as you lift your right leg to tabletop. Switch again. Right leg lowers, left leg comes up. Switch and switch. Keep alternating here, moving the legs at a pace that you feel you can control. Again, you should have your pelvis neutral, chest lifted, but space under your back. Keep the back of the neck long. A few more times here, switching the legs. You shouldn't rest the foot to the floor. Keep it just lifted. And then both legs back to tabletop. Hold your tabletop here. Lower the chest down. Keep your hands behind your head. Take a breath in to prepare. We're going to add some rotations. Exhale, lift the chest over to the left side. As you extend the right leg, and bring your right arm outside your left knee. Gently push the arm into the knee. Inhale, right hand back behind your head, lower the chest, bring the right leg back to tabletop, and let's repeat on the other side. Exhale, lift over to your right side, extend your left leg, bring your left arm outside your right knee, and gently push into that knee. Don't let the knee fall in. Inhale, lower the chest down, left leg back to tabletop. Exhale, lift over to your left. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift over to your right, extend the left leg, and inhale, lower. Exhale, lift to the left, extend your right leg, inhale, lower. So combining our one leg stretch and our oblique lifts. Just one more on each side. Almost done. You've got one more. And then lower down, hug the knees into your chest. Take a breath here. And when you're ready, go ahead and roll over onto your right side, supporting your head in your hand. Bring your shins parallel to the front of the mat, so 90 degree bend at the hips and the knees. Take a breath in to prepare. Exhale, lift the left leg. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Lift, lower, lift, lower for six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the leg lifted, now just to hip height. Extend the left leg long, take a breath in, and then exhale, keeping the leg straight, bring it back in line with your body. Inhale forwards, and exhale back. Inhale forwards, exhale back. Keep moving here, keep your hips stacked. Keep a little bit of space underneath your waist. Let's go for five, four. You can use that top arm to help stabilize if you need. Last two, last one, then hold the leg back and little pulses up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very nice. From here, go ahead and sit up as you swing the left leg over your right knee and then twist to the left, hugging the left knee in, feeling a stretch through your glute. And then coming over onto your left side. Support your head in your hands here. Stack your legs, shins parallel with the front of the mat. Inhale to prepare, then exhale, lift your right leg. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. So moving through your hip here, keeping the pelvis stable keeping the hips stacked. Let's do five, four, three, two, one. Hold the leg lifted to hip height. Extend the leg in front of you. Inhale, then exhale. Scoop the leg back in line with your body and inhale coming forwards. 
exhale back inhale forwards again keeping that bit of space underneath your left waist keep the leg long last five four three last two almost done then you've just got the lifts hold the leg back and pulsing up for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one push yourself up to seated bring that right leg over the left hugging the right knee in as you twist to the right deep breath here to feel the stretch and then make your way into a comfortable cross-legged position hands on your ankles or your knees then inhale reach your breastbone up as you arch your back gaze towards the sky and then exhale round your spine roll off your sit bones separate your shoulder blades inhale arching the spine look up exhale rounding the spine look to your navel inhale up exhale around just a couple more here to really loosen up the spine to finish last one and then coming back up to seated inhale reach your arms up exhale let it go and you're all done thanks so much for joining i hope you enjoyed this daily pilates routine don't forget to leave a like or comment down below to let me know what other videos you'd like to see. Thanks so much for joining and I'll see you in the next one.